Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to be setting up the PlayStation DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter. I got this one for just under £20 from Game and that's as of December 2016. Now you want to use one of these if you want to play for example things like PlayStation Now on your desktop or your laptop and you don't want to have the charging cable linked into it, the USB to micro USB, so if you want it wireless then you're going to have to get yourself an adapter. Now unfortunately Bluetooth does not work when you're using something like PlayStation Now or also the remote play as well. They're kind of forcing you to get yourself one of these if you want to do it wirelessly. So let's have a look, see what's in the, the packet. Have you, you can pause that and have a little read of it. Okay, there are different languages. Now with these adapters, annoyingly, you can only connect one controller per adapter. So it's not like the Xbox where you can connect eight controllers to the one adapter. You can only connect the one controller per adapter. Okay, let's have a look see what's inside. Right, so I'm going to show you how to set it up and then I'll show you the instructions afterwards. Right, this is it here. So what we'll have to do is, I've got PlayStation now up on this laptop. You've got to find yourself a, a spare USB port. Plug it in. It doesn't matter if it's a USB 2 or a USB 3 port. And if you have a look, you will see that that is blue light is pulsing. So it's going on, then off, then on, and then off. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put it into pairing mode. Now to put it into pairing mode, what you have to do is you have to actually push the adapter in towards the USB port for about three seconds. And then you will see that the blue light will change. So if I go one, two, three, now can you see it's flashing twice. So now that's looking for a controller to pair to. And we have to put our controller into pairing mode as well. Now the easiest way to do this is to you hit the share button and hold it down, then hit the PlayStation button, because sometimes when you try to do them both at the same time, you end up pressing this one first. So just press and hold the share button, then the PlayStation button, and if you have a look at the top, that's now gone into pairing mode, and straight away, it's paired up. So they've both gone to blue. And now, if I go to, on PlayStation Now, if I just go up to the top here, and I will just, it just says click to use controller, so I'm just going to click to use controller. And now, I'm in controller mode, so I can move around the place. When you're playing the actual games, you can then use the, the analog sticks. So that's it, that's how you connect it up. Let me just show you the instructions so you can have a little look through. It says here, using the wireless adapter for the first time, and it basically just explains what you need to do. And then if it's already paired, so let's say now if you walk away from this and then come back and play it straight on your laptop again the next day, then it will already be paired to it. So you just have to insert the wireless adapter and then you just hit the PlayStation button there and it will start working. Now when you go to use your controller again back on your PlayStation 4, you will have to resync it back to your PlayStation 4 again because remember, this is now synced to this little wireless adapter down here. So just get yourself the charging cable or any USB to micro USB cable, plug it into your console, plug it into the controller and then it will resync back to the console again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Take care, bye now.